first step is taking off the old cover. I've already taken the dust cover off the bottom and sized it up. It's just a matter of starting here and pulling these tacks. I got to keep the point away from the wood so I don't scratch and dig in. Somebody else has gone down too low on here, it looks like, and left some marks. I sometimes have to follow the last person's tracks, too. I'm going to take this foam out. Oh boy, we got some cool stuff. I think we're going to have a, a burlap sack of interest in there, too. That's some 1970s Herculon there. Really common to see people use burlap sacks, and I've got a, quite a collection of them. One of them's got a 1937 international truck, a potato sack. approach. Let's see what the sack is. Potatoes. Next step here, we're just going to take all these tacks and strip it down to the frame, basically. I'm going to take new springs, put new springs in. Sometimes these dikes work better than a tack puller. Don't push and pry. That's a good way to hurt yourself too. Okay, we'll then get rid of all of that. I am going to run these springs the opposite direction the way they were. It really doesn't matter, but they come in standard sizes and I figured I'd do it this way. I'm working on rocking chairs. A lot of times I'll put a block of wood in under the rockers and it helps, helps hold it stable. Get these in the middle here and use spring up nails on it. center these off here. I think I can do that by eye. Let's put them in here and see how they fit. That one might have to be bent just a little bit. Maybe not. I think we'll work. Drop this one in. I like to keep these points to the back. I don't think it matters, but it makes the job look neater if they're all placed the same. Nail kind of tracked in the grain of the wood and pushed it forward. do an eight-way tie on the springs. This is imported hemp string from Italy. I usually kind of double things up on this.
I'm going to start tying these springs by putting some 10 ounce tacks on the back rail here. I'm going to go on both sides of these straps. Start that right like that. nail those in and I'll have a, a double return on that twine to the front. A couple return tacks in place. Soft spot in the wood right there. After I get all this tied, I'll go back with a stapler and we'll shoot down some of the weaker areas. All right, we'll start by holding this spring up and we want these to stand upright. We don't want the knots to pull them one way or the other. Just kind of push down on it and get things lined up. Make that knot by dropping the cord over the top and you can flip your finger under. Make the quick stitch there, quick knot. Sight down through the center of the springs and make sure they're straight. Get the spacing right. Sometimes these get a little uh, hard to, to get squared up because this side's shorter than this one with the loop. Kind of deceiving. With that metal strap in here, I generally I'll pull these, stagger one side, I'll switch, switch sides as I pull these down, make them opposite. Said I'll come back later and put some staples in there to kind of hold them in place. We're going to double them up again. As I'm putting these into the frame, I'm staggering the grain so that I don't run them right in line and, and cause just like a wedge that's going to split the wood. I stagger them just a little bit. Got my cord cut and we're going to do the same thing on these side to side run. Drop those over in kind of a clover leaf. Kind of a thick spot in that rope there. Sometimes you run into some irregularities. Generally it tends that it runs right where you want to knot. Sight down through and line up these spacing here. pick up on the second tie across here.
double leaves up that way. Basically going over the top again, coming back around through here. Working with the rope as I pull it tight. Here I'll just kind of split the difference and straighten that up around the other tack. Start by just wrapping this one and tying it down. Since the springs are already tied in place, these diagonal ties go pretty quickly. Just a matter of lining them up and snugging them down. This frame does have some pretty thin wood and some cracks, so we will have to reinforce these with some staples. Looks like that might be a eight ounce tax there. Won't split as much, we hope. Yeah, it's really wanting to split. Not much I can do about it. Reinforce it with staples. Okay, we'll cut some. We need four for this diagonal here. I like to use duck cloth on this instead of burlap because of the stuffing material I use. A lot of dirt falls through. Looked like a 23 by 26 is plenty. 